Hi everyone and welcome to this uh, new video of the Floss Marketing School. Today we are going to see the possibilities of uh, sending data to Collabora. So Collabora is, to make it simple, uh, that's the possibility to put LibreOffice online and you do it uh, thanks to Nextcloud. So here I have my Nextcloud which is running on my server, the one of the Floss Marketing School and Collabora Online have been installed as well on a subdomain and both have been linked in order to now have the possibility to add uh, document files, spreadsheets and, and presentations. So that's typically what we are here as you can see. We have an online uh, spreadsheet and this one is currently uh, virgin, there's no data on it and we're going to push data from Matmo to it. Unfortunately, there's no possibility yet, or at least I didn't find any to uh, insert automatically those data. So the data I'm going to take are the one from this given file and that I just in fact uh, copy and paste from this given LibreOffice offline um, let's say um, document. So uh, there's no magic yet. I didn't find out the same feature as in LibreOffice in which uh, you can insert it thanks to a function. I mean the given data feed unfortunately um, I didn't find it yet and I don't think it's yet possible uh, to do but I just would wanted to show you the basic feature of of Collabora. So here, as you can see, I use the feature which is kind of very interesting. It's called uh, the conditional formatting and it really helps you uh, straight away see how uh, you performed over time. So it's kind of very interesting because it adds automatically some visual uh, to your data and then you have the possibility to see if you did good or if uh, you didn't. So in my case, I'm just going to remove those those things out yep so i'm just gonna probably yeah just take like this uh the arrow and uh, if i would like to make a graph out of all of this it deletes and um, that's the basic way we do it so you just select your uh, column and then you just uh, go down and then you can of course use thing that you know by heart so the possibility to plot some lines on it and then you get your graph okay so that's exactly the same thing as you will have done with uh, LibreOffice but the big difference here is that now you can uh, share it with other and that's oops, sorry for that and that's that's the big difference so here you can easily of course uh, add your text in order to explain what are the data that you are currently looking at and then you have the possibility to share. So you just need to go uh, over here and click on share. Then you get a link, okay? And this link, you can basically just copy and paste it. Just go on a new private window to a browser where there's no connection at all. And then um, the person will just copy and paste the given link. And as you can see, so here you can put your analysis, my analysis, my now, this is, is that we did fairly good on the 27th so and the 28th. We did fairly good on the 27th and the 28th. Okay, so here what is kind of interesting is, of course, as this file is shared. You see, this given user will automatically see what uh, you are currently typing in. I mean, that's the strength of the online uh, collaboration tool. So to make it simple, if, and I say if, if it's possible to automatically import the data of Matomo within uh, Nextcloud and play it with Collabora, definitely here, I think that uh, analyst who would like to not send any data to uh, GAFAM at all, uh, will be very happy because it means that you could technically do everything that you want within a spreadsheet, share it among all the different users within your company in order for them to be able to see your analysis, what you think about it. And you could use, of course, all the different functions of LibreOffice spreadsheet in order to easily uh, set some uh, conditions in order to clearly analyze if the bounce rate is good, 
uh, the conversion is, is good as well. And if, of course, the goals have been met for a specific period of time, let's say all the brain work or let's say condition formatting that uh, Matomo is not uh, doing at the moment. And this is where definitely combining with a technology such as Collabora could make it great. But so far, that's not uh, possible. And that's it uh, for today. So if you have the chance of having your own server, you can try to install Nextcloud on it with uh, Collabora and try to play with uh, some Matomo sets of data in order to make the data speak for you. Once more, thanks for watching and do not hesitate to share your own experience.